As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Cassidy and Harold Revan are suing Danielle Krista in the amount of $2,000. The Revans claim Ms. Krista neglected their child while babysitting and their house caught on fire as a result. Ms. Krista claims the house was not childproofed and says the Revan's daughter started the fire. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Revan, you are suing Ms. Krista for $2,000 for property damage, is that right? That's correct, And you were their babysitter, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. And how old is the baby? Six years old. Six years old. How long had this lady been your babysitter? A year and a half. Uh -huh. How did you meet her? Through friends. We had a recommendation. Fellow parents had um, referred her, who she okay. also babysat for. Okay. So... Uh, there was a fire in your house while she was babysitting? Yes. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay, so how did this fire happen? So little Charlotte had told me that she was going to use the bathroom. Okay. Um, so she has a tendency to want to use mommy and daddy's bathroom, the, um, the master bedroom, because the bathroom is bigger and it's right. nicer. Can so she, she use the bathroom by herself or does yes, she, she need can. to be attended? Okay. Um, so this has never been a problem before. She's right. gone to the bathroom many times. Is this true? Own. She doesn't need any attendance to go to the bathroom. She right. doesn't need attendance to go to the bathroom, right. but we do prefer that she's kept an eye on. You know, right. if she's been yeah, but gone. When she's for in too the long. bathroom. No, like she can handle herself in the bathroom. Right. right. But, but was there know. ever discussion about when she goes to the bathroom with the babysitter? Uh, yes, just that, you know, to pay attention to her. But right. even though she goes in the bathroom, I mean, at the age of six, kids right. are curious. Okay. Um, they get into things. They get into right. things. Well, you shouldn't have things for her to get into in your bathroom. No, because correct. Because she goes to the bathroom when there's no babysitter that she's using your bathroom. Right. So correct. you yes. don't have things in your bathroom for her to get into, right? No. no. Okay. Your Honor, Not now. But there have been don't. times where she, there were times when um, there were pills um, in the lower cabinet that right. she had uh, Charlotte got into. And when she did was, that happen? Around a few months ago. Right. I, Did you report it to the parents? Yes. I, I texted them while they were on their date. And I right. let them know And we that. resolved that okay. immediately. Right. right. We, moved, so. we moved the pills somewhere else. Well, why should the babysitter have to tell the parents that you need to move your pills out of reach of your child? That is well, my point exactly. Your Honor, I mean, we can't childproof the entire world. We only childproof things as, as they come up. Wait, she was not able to excuse open me. She wasn't able to open excuse the Excuse me. They have child guards for cabinets, so children can't open cabinets. Haven't you seen them in kitchen cabinets? So your child doesn't go in and pull the pots out and bangs pots on the floor? As they have grows, we've proof. had to we've, adjust we've, our we've home. Learned. And right. there have been a few instances it's, And where, the pills were in a childproof yeah, container. Yeah, she wasn't right. able to open too. them. Right. Your Honor, that's funny that you should mention that because they did not have their kitchen drawers childproofed. And right. so she, that's where she actually drew the lighter from. So she pulled a drawer. lighter out of the kitchen drawer? Well, yes. she wasn't well, being watched. She okay, wasn't wait. being watched, exactly. You weren't there yet, right? Let me talk to the babysitter about what happened. And the last I heard, little Charlotte was in the bathroom, in the master bathroom. That's where she was supposed to be, and I assumed that she was. Right. Because okay, her... there's only one child. Right. Is the is the house one story or two story? It's a one story house. Okay, so when Charlotte said, "I'm going to the bathroom," what did you do? No, she said, "Mommy and Daddy's bathroom." So okay, I said, but okay, what go did ahead. you do in response to her saying, "I'm going to the bathroom"? I said, "Go ahead." But what were you doing? I was on the couch. Just sitting there, what, watching TV, on your phone? I was on my phone. So you were on your phone when you told her to just go ahead? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Long it turns out, excuse for... me, and so it turns out she didn't go to mommy and daddy's bathroom? Well, she was heading towards their room, right. anyhow. Right. So I guess, I don't know if she used the bathroom or not, she could have, but she, when I found her, she was in the bedroom. Okay, so how long after uh, she said, I'm going to the bathroom, did you go find her? Maybe around four or five minutes. Four or five minutes later. And what made you go look for her? 
I smelled smoke and I saw smoke. Okay, so it was the smoke that got your attention off the couch. That's correct. Okay. Did you have any type of camera or monitoring system we, in the house? We did. We, we do. We have a nanny cam, actually. Okay, you have a nanny yeah. cam that you yeah. bring me? Tim? We did. Are yes. we going to be able to post we it? We submitted it to the okay, court, let but me also see. on our phone. We've had a nanny cam since okay. day one. Okay. Okay. So we're going to post this, too, in the courtroom? We're showing you happened on the day of the fire. This is when it occurred. Okay, so you agree that that was the day of the incident? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you were on your cell phone? I was on my phone. Coming up on Supreme Justice. So when little Charlotte says, I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to use mommy's and daddy's bathroom, what little Charlotte really did was go into the kitchen. No, ma'am, there's no proof that she went to the kitchen first. And later. $8,000 is a lot of money for anybody. What do you do for a living? I'm a dancer. Okay, well, you must do a lot of dancing and moves. <laughs> Supreme Justice is back with the case of Cassidy and Harold Revan, who are suing Danielle Krista for property damage. So when you got into the kitchen, what was going on? I didn't go into the kitchen. Where did you go? I went to the bedroom. You went to the bed. Is the bedroom next to the kitchen? The bedroom is down the hall. Then that's the bedroom was what uh, was on fire. The oh, it was a bedroom. On fire. Where did the mat? Was the matches? It was a lighter. Oh, okay, lighter. where was this lighter? In the kitchen, in a drawer. Okay, so when little Charlotte says, "I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to use mommy's and daddy's bathroom," what little Charlotte really did was go into the kitchen. No, ma'am. There's no proof that she went to the kitchen first. I don't know when she got access to the because lighter. your face was in your phone. Because you were paying you attention. Were no. Okay, yeah. wait, wait. Y'all want to talk in, outside and see if you can work it out together? Because we don't talk across like that. So your position is what about this lighter? I'm saying I have no idea when she got the lighter. She right. could have she could have gotten it when she was in their care. I don't know. She could have hidden it somewhere okay. for months, weeks. I don't know. Okay, but when you went into the bathroom, what was going on? So I didn't go to the bathroom. I went immediately to their bedroom where I right. saw where the smoke was coming right. from. And little Charlotte was there. She had a lighter in her hand, uh -huh. and I saw the flames. I grabbed her, scooped her up, I ran out the door. I called uh -huh. 911. Okay, what was the damage? Significant. Do we you have, have pictures? We, we, we do. We, we have a, our insurance claim has an itemized list There's of all So your insurance photos. paid it, you're asking for the uh, deductible? Deductible. Correct. Yes. yes. There was over $10,000 of damage done. Have, you've done it, you've already repaired the damage? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the bed caught on fire? There was it damaged was, water damage to the oh, furniture, the carpet, the, when, the fire when they had to came. put it out. That's we were the, able the to the salvage. Too. Yes. yes. Okay. And they had to clean, deodorize everything to make it oh, safe okay. and livable again. We had to All go right. stay with so his sister. So it looks like this fire happened up against a wall. It was because she set the drapes on fire. Oh, I see. But Charlotte is okay, right? She yes. Had, thankfully, yes. Right. And also... You know, our, our babysitter, we're, we're glad she's, she was right. fine, too. So uh, why don't you think you owe this money? I don't believe I'm responsible because I believe that they're responsible. Why are they responsible? Because they're her parents, and history has proven in the past that th this wasn't a first-time occasion. Like, I was surprised that Charlotte set the curtains on fire, right. but I wasn't surprised to find her with a lighter. Why? Because why is that? things like this have happened before. Tell me about what's happened in the past. They've left knives out. They've left uh, knives in the drawer. I told them out. they were like in the drawer. Just out. Anyway, I, have, I have proof here of my text to Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Revin. About the knives? About knives that Charlotte found in the drawer. And right. I asked them that they should maybe consider moving it to the counter. Right. Where she can't Let me see the yet. text messages, please. So she texted you in the past that you left knives out? We didn't leave them out. They were in a drawer. And right. we've right. never had an issue while our is child... Is she your only child? Yes, yes. Well, you mean, let me tell you, my parents didn't have child-proof drawers either when I was a child. But I don't think they had that when I was a child. Mm -hmm. right. But they have it now. Like, they have the little baby monitors and everything. And maybe it seems like Charlotte is very curious she that you need to curious. get the cabinets with the child-proof locks. We've well, made adjustments. We've always resolved things immediately if they've been brought to our attention. Your Honor, we're not negligent just, you know, exactly. partying and, and while our child is setting the house on fire sure, or texting. Sure, Your Honor, but, okay, so the text that you're looking at right now, those right. are the only proof that I have over my phone, but there have been other instances where I've told them with my mouth, I've told them verbally about times where Charlotte got access to scissors, 
and she could have injured herself. Right. And I don't see why it is my responsibility to because tell Because you're the time. babysitter. No, I, no, no exactly. the reason why it's your responsibility is because you, was she being paid? Or was she yes. a volunteer? Yes. Very yes. well, we in my opinion. It's because you were hired to babysit. No, no, I didn't not mean that. Not sit on the couch on your cell phone on your cell phone when you're supposed to be watching this six-year-old. And when you're telling me, oh, in the past there have been problems, which means you should have been even more alert. You should have gotten up with her and taken her to the bathroom. Maybe you want to make sure that there's toilet paper in the bathroom. You want to make sure she can wash her hands. Your job is to follow after her everywhere she goes at six years old. Your Honor, I wasn't saying that I'm not responsible for her. I'm fully responsible you for her. You are Charlotte. totally responsible that a six-year-old in your care got her hands on a lighter. Because if you were doing what you were paid to do and not doing what a lot of people are doing is sitting down in traffic, in the grocery store, at dinner with their spouse and family on a cell phone. Yes, but I don't And I would, have, I would have had a rule. You don't use your cell phone in my house when you're taking care of my child. You don't use your cell phone. It's a no cell phone zone. You're supposed to be on notice the whole time what's going on with the child and ready to rule. Your Honor, if I never had I'm a problem... I'm ready to rule. Have you found a new babysitter? Yes. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you impose the no cell phone rule? We will, we will absolutely. We will the cabinets, do you have the child proof yes. locks on your the cabinets? They've come home drunk before. Okay, Miss oh. Miss Krista, you, you really are reaching. Okay, I'm done. I'm ready to rule judgment for the plaintiffs in the amount of $2,000. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant is ordered to pay $2,000. I'm very happy the judge ruled in our favor, but you need to learn a thing or two if you want to have kids of your own someday. Look, I love Charlotte, and but this is not my fault, and I think you need to be more responsible parents. Well, we are by not hiring you again, so. Coming up. Yeah, proof of your maintenance. Well, I didn't even know that I would need the proof. I, honestly, what when I... What did you I... think you needed? Just come in here with your good luck? Network featuring dynamic judges and live legal programming. Well, we're not at your school. We're in my courtroom. Unique court shows. Where is any information about the company? Live legal news. That's what you should have done. And a commitment to justice. Either you tried or you did it. The next generation of court programming in one dynamic network. Justice Central. You're watching Justice Central. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to Justice Central. Coming up at 1230, watch Supreme Justice with Judge Karen, followed by Justice for All with Christina Perez. The verdict is in, right here on Justice Central. You're watching Justice Central. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Angela Edwards is suing her ex-boyfriend's sister, Tina Williams, in the amount of $1,855.24. Ms. Edwards claims Ms. Williams knowingly sold her a defective car and says the defendant owes her for the repairs. Ms. Williams claims Ms. Edwards has been abusing the car and says any repairs are the responsibility of the plaintiff. Ms. Edwards, you are suing Ms. Williams for selling you a faulty vehicle. Yes. Is that right? What's your relationship? She is actually my ex-boyfriend's sister. So what kind of car was this that you sold her? It was a BMW. Uh, what two, year was 2007. it? 2007. Uh, how much did you pay for the car? I paid $8,000 for the vehicle. $8,000 is a lot of money for anybody. What do you do for a living? I'm a dancer. Okay. Well, you must do a lot of dancing and moves <laughs> to be able to come up with $8,000. Well, I, I get booked for a lot of music videos and uh, shows oh, and stuff okay. like that. Oh, okay. All right. So how did you come up with that price? Well, Your Honor, it's in very good condition. I understand. It, didn't it could be in excellent condition. Any issues at all. I asked my brother and asked my dad and right. that was the price that they told me. I, I sent her pictures of it right. beforehand because she was living in New York okay. and she saw that it was in great condition. She came, she, she drove wait a minute, it. Wait, wait, wait. You travel from New York to California for an $8,000 2007 <laughs> BMW? Well, Your Honor, I was living in New York at the time okay. and her brother, which is my ex-boyfriend, he was living in LA. So we had a long distance relationship okay. and so I figure I can dance 
parents out there as well. So right. I ended up moving to L.A. and I knew I was going to need a car out there. So he told me that she was selling the vehicle. So okay. I was like, OK, it's your sister. Right. You know, I so what you didn't So you hadn't seen the car. I saw pictures of the car. You saw pictures of the car. Coming up. Yeah, proof of your maintenance. Well, I didn't even know that I would need the proof. I honestly, what when did I you think you needed just come in here with your good look. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Angela Edwards, who is suing Tina Williams for $1,855.24. Okay, so we take off in the car, you get the $8,000, you go off in, into the sunset in the car, and then what happens? Okay, so I had the car for, I've, I was driving it for about three months. Everything was going okay on the okay. car. We what were you doing for service on that car in the three months you had it? I made sure every 3,000 miles that I made sure I got regular oil changes. You got proof of all of this? You had proof of your maintenance? Well, I didn't even know that I would need the proof. I honestly, what when I... What did you I, think you needed? Just come in here with your good looks? Well, no, once I got the oil changes, right. I just like, you know, threw the paper. I didn't keep the receipts. I didn't think that I would need it. Well, so. you have a car, you want to keep service records because you don't know when you might have to an issue with the car or you're going to end up in court in front of judge karen but let me ask you this when you bought that car did you ever say let me take this car to a mechanic just to look it over and see if you know everything is working transmission is good see if it has had these regular oil changes that you're doing it at Honestly, Your Honor, I drove the car around the block and right. the car was driving fine and right. I just trusted them. I'm like, they wouldn't try to, you know, play me like right. that. Or, Do, you did know. you have regular service on the car? Yes, Your did Honor. Did you provide I, her with regular maintenance records for the car? I, I don't think we actually gave each other the records, but I took perfect did care you of it. Bring I didn't the have records, any problems with Did you with bring the records with you? No, ma'am, I didn't. Of course you didn't. So then what happened? It blew out on you one day? So I'm leaving set one day. It was like 12 o'clock a.m. and I'm driving on the freeway. Right. And then all of a sudden the car just, it just made some type of noise. And then I right. look at my rear view, I see smoke and right. my car just, it started slowing down. Right. So I'm like, I'm on the freeway panicking. Right. And so it literally just stopped. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Program. All right, so do you have some invoice or something you want to show me about the condition of the car? Yes, I do have a receipt of what they charged me for um, repairing the engine. Right. Okay, so you've already had this engine repaired. Yes. But it doesn't say what work was done. Yes, well, they told me that um, due to like lack of lubrication right. and stuff that it made the engine go out and I know that I made sure I kept getting oil changes and everything for that right. car so that three means when she had the though. car yeah but three no, months it, it, six months when she um, actually got in the uh, freeway accident February it was, 25th was six months after you said three months yeah. well I had the car for six months Six months when this happened. Yes. And you're going to come back six months later and say that the girl, that this woman did not do the oil exactly. changes on the car? People think because you come to county court, you don't have to bring any evidence. But you tell me that you bought a car, a BMW, for $8,000. You never took it to anybody to look it over and see what condition it was in. You didn't bring me copies of the... Uh, of the maintenance records, you don't even show me where you were taking care of the car. Oh, I just did it and I threw it away, and yet you want me, and then you give me a receipt, and I don't even know what these people did to the car. So I'm left here with lack of evidence. This isn't about emotions. This isn't about my opinion. It isn't about how you might feel. It's about evidence, and the evidence isn't there. I'm ready to rule. Judgment for yes. the defendant. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I feel that as much money as I paid for that car, I should be able to drive it anywhere I want to, and you just sold me a lemon and got away with it. We signed a bill of sale saying sold as is. That's it. Justice is served.